So it's my pleasure now to introduce somebody uh, who's really one of the root people in my own life. I used to go to the Jazz Cultural Theater and just hearing Barry and the musicians and the whole quality was my real introduction to jazz. And when Barry used to work with the singers, he would take someone, they would come up, they wanted to perform, and he would help them find the essence, the truth, and the honesty in their song. When I heard that, it was like the root of my entire feeling about jazz. So I've told Barry the story in many different ways over the years, and he knows that he really inspired me to tell Lincoln Center that jazz had a rightful place there. So a lot of my life, and as we've continued this work, came from those wonderful experiences at the Jazz Cultural Theater with Barry Harris. Let me introduce him now. Is Are you here, Barry, my dear? I'm here. Great, Barry Harris. Thank you so much. Hey, it's me. <laughs> it's me. You know, I was thinking, let's see, what should I do? I've been sort of trifling in the last year. I'd started getting sick. So I didn't play as much as I should have. Let's see, what can I tell you about me? Well, I could tell you that I was playing, playing in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I was about 60-something years old. And a man came up to me and brought this woman in a wheelchair. He introduced us. That was his sister. And he introduced us. So I turned to walk away because I was just meeting her. She, she, looked, she said, wait a minute, before you go away, you know, I taught her Barry Harris. I said, you taught her Barry Harris? It couldn't have been me. Because I thought we looked like we was about the same age. So she said, yeah, I taught a Barry Harris in Detroit. I said, in Detroit where? At Trowbridge Elementary School. Just imagine, here I am, 60-something years old, meeting my elementary school piano teacher. So I'm going to make like I'm meeting my elementary school piano teacher. And I have to play a song. I, I told the audience, I said, boy, I better play my butt off today. <laughs> this album, she's here with me, so I'm going to play a monk song. Monk said he had a girlfriend named Ruby. Her name was Ruby, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. 
We love you, Barry Harris. When you come oh, through boy. New York as a singer, you get uh, an opportunity to go to Barry's community and spend a couple dollars and learn from a great, great maestro, a, a national arts endowment master. Coming to my class, you'll meet people that you never met, would never have met any other time because they mostly come from foreign countries. They sign up for the class, a whole bunch of them. It's about 30 or 40 of them that sign up for the class. And they get there and they wait for me. And I teach them, teach them about jazz. <laughs> See, I learned about jazz when I was a kid. I was very lucky, you know. See, people have different luck different ways. Uh, I yeah. heard, I was about maybe 14, 15, I heard Charlie Parker play. Now, some of you have heard of Charlie Parker. I was, I'm, I'm probably one of the last people in the world that played with Charlie Parker. I said, he let me sit in with him when I was about 17, 18 years old. He would let me sit in with him. So I've been very fortunate in my life. I wish, you know, all the, all the jazz musicians in Detroit, they knew where to come because I'd be sitting at the piano playing. That's all I did, play the piano. I loved the piano and then fell in love with Charlie Parker and Bud Powell and Monk and Prez and Coleman Hawkins and all them good jazz musicians. Mm. So I, I've had a, a lifetime of love and I've done what I wanted to do. So this is it. Thank you very much for listening to me. And Ruby, that's so pretty. So pretty. That says, Ruby, my, my dear. dear. And he did it again. Hold back that tear. I is gone. Your love is gone. Yeah. You do it all the way? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I know you cry. But time goes by. I could have taken every one of you, you gentlemen and ladies that might be incarcerated. I would, I'd make you come to the Jazz Culture Theater. You wouldn't need much money because I never charge much money. See, I never charge much. I didn't think I was supposed to make money off people. 
the fun of it. It's been fun all my life. And I'd say, I wish every one of you had fallen in love with something at the very beginning because you'd be all right right now. It comes from having something to love. Poor, you know, we were poor. I think I was, what was the name of mine? ADC, Aid to Dependent Children. Hmm. But you know, my sister called me up one day, my older sister, they all gone. And she said, you know, my mama would have been proud. Just think, your brother, my other brother, he became a lawyer. My sister worked for the government. You know, everybody became something, even though we came from ADC. So, you know, I've been through it, so thank you very much.